Hello everyone, I'm gonna talk about Manjaro WebDAD and the Jade Desktop and I am this guy here so I'm gonna start by talking about this little dock here it's quite useful and you can see it all the time if you download this from source forge and install it you won't have those these icons down here uh, so when you drag a window up to the dock it fades away and you can get back to it coming down here you also have your notifications area here that you can actually move it anywhere by pressing alt left click to put it there or you can put it there in the middle the choice is yours you can customize it down here if you go to configurations uh, I like having it in here There you go. I like having it up there because if you open a window, it's there. It's always visible. Anyway, you can choose it to have it above windows or below windows or any way you like it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, if you come here to applications, you have everything categorized everything is separated um, and if you over on application it gives you more details about it tells you what it does and let's go back so you don't need to learn much to use this this is a modern desktop you don't have desktop icons that doesn't exist in here this is meant to work differently so this actually replaces the background what are you used to on other desktop environments have all the icons I think it's a big mess for this nice dashboard you have this nice dashboard instead and you have some more categories here like for example help Or settings all your setting stuff go here let's go back you also have some shortcuts here on the top uh, what else you have this nice green circle here it tells you how much storage is available on your in your all your hard drives and this color changes from green and it goes to orange or red depending on much space you are using and here's your exit menu you have all your options here log out reboot hibernate it's quite easy to use there's not much to it um, Okay, actually, before I go any further, I'm just gonna launch a new instance here. Uh, there we go. And this is my build. This is the build I run on my computer. And with this nice aquarium background and um, I didn't release this because having this interactive this moving background eats a lot of CPU but I use it on my computer because I find it quite relaxing anyway I can always I can do the demo with this um, so what else can I show you ah so it's another thing as well is you can zoom in and out on the desktop So let's go back to what it was. 
There we go. Now, search. Search is quite easy and quite intuitive. For example, if you want to search just by a capital letter, as you can see, it gives you all the Fs. Or if you do two letters, it won't search by letter, you'll do. Uh, but for example, you can get X specific. For example, if you do like Fox, for example, and you only have an option here, if you press the enter key, it launches the application automatically for you. Or for example, if you go to gaming menu, there we go, and you get back to search, your search is still there. It doesn't get deleted. This doesn't carry on if you log out and log back in, but you don't really need that because you can kind of use this like favorites or anything you're searching for. For example, you want settings <coughs> and it's here and then you go back to the main menu and there you go, your search is saved. Get back there, it's still there. And I think basically that's it. There's not much about that you need to learn to use this. It just gets out of your way. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you soon.